Hello friends, in this video we will make the complex chloropentaamine cobalt 3 chloride. This is a coordination compound of cobalt, probably one of the oldest non-coordination compound. For simple salt of cobalt, the plus 2 oxidation state is more stable than the plus 3 form. However, the complexation makes the higher oxidation states possible, which are more stable. The chemicals that you need for this preparation are 5 grams of ammonium chloride, 10 grams of cobalt chloride, 20 milliliters of concentrated ammonia solution, 10 milliliters of 30 percentage hydrogen peroxide and 20 milliliters of 36 percentage concentrated hydrochloric acid. A 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask was taken and then 20 milliliters of concentrated ammonia solution of specific gravity 0.91 is added. Then 5 grams of pre-weighed ammonium chloride crystals were added to the ammonia solution. The flask was then shaken continuously until all the crystals dissolve. This might take a minute or so. Now, 10 grams of the pre-weighed cobalt 2 chloride was added to the flask in small addition at a time with frequent shaking in between the additions. You will see the formation of a brown color which will soon result in the formation of a brown slurry after the complete addition of cobalt chloride. Now start adding the 30% hydrogen peroxide solution. This should be added very slowly and the flask should be cooled from time to time because the reaction is exothermic. I kept the flask under running tap water to cool down the rising temperature. You can see the reaction that has taken place until now below. Now we add 20 milliliters of the 36 percentage hydrochloric acid very slowly. You will see the dense white fumes. Don't be alarmed as this is the ammonium chloride forming as the side product. Here also the reaction is exothermic and we should cool the flask from time to time. Once the addition of the acid is complete, you can already see the precipitated product. To proceed the reaction to completion, heat the flask at 55 to 65 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Then we take it out from the heating source and add 25 milliliters of distilled water and let it cool down to room temperature. The precipitate on allowing to stand for few minutes settles down to the bottom of the flask. The precipitate was then filtered. I used a vacuum filtration setup for easy filtration. The vacuum was kept turned on so that all the water from the product will be sucked inside and the product will be dried. And here is the dried product and this is the final product chloropentaamine cobalt 3 chloride. We got 5.2 grams of the product and this represents a yield of 53 percentage. So that's all in this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new chemicals and equipments required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications. Thank you.